you got to do is talk now and then. Hopper Marx is here with me. He doesn't talk, so I have to talk for him. They're going to look at Siegfried, and I hope it's a good picture. Thank you. Joining me this morning is Bill Marks, the eldest of Harpo's four children. I have never heard, and most people have never heard, Harpo's speech. What did he sound like? Can you describe that? Well, he had a very soft-spoken way. He would say words like turkey would come out, turkey, hamburger, <laughs> liver waste. Oil became oil. He was a New Yorker, all right. You bet. Harpo made a career of not talking. In some ways, his whole persona is one of the most thorough surreal jokes of all time. He'd even do radio shows and not talk. But what did he actually sound like when he talked, which he did all the time in real life? Well, you're about to find out, because we've unearthed a recording of him talking about his early days on the road when he was thrown out of a brothel. One night I'm playing, and I felt sick and I practically keeled off the stool and she says, get that son of a bitch back on that stool play. I had, there was a couple of customers there. So again, I fell off the stool. She says, what the hell is the matter with him to one of the girls? And she said, well, he must be sick. So they sent for a doctor and he looked at me, the doctor, and he said, he, he's got the measles. She says, get him the hell out of here. I don't want any sick Jews around me. The voice of Harpo Marx. Is this year? Remember, Dad got up and made a speech for the first time, spoke in public. It was a very interesting feeling because here is a man who was silent all his life and making people laugh, and now he was speaking and everybody was silent. And then a, a chuckle originally built to a roar of laughter over the next six or seven minutes because once he started to speak, you couldn't shut him up.